What's up guys and so finally today I'm gonna bring a video on the Redmi Note 3 Yeah finally a video on the Redmi Note 3 guys because See the Redmi Note 3 was really difficult to root and a lot of thing had to be done to make the Redmi Note 3 what it is now and I was having some problems with the recovery and uh, my health was also not quite good and so yeah today let's not just waste time and let's just look at how to install Android 7.1 Nougat with the 3D touch and every freaking feature that Google has to offer on the Redmi Note 3 and this is Joel to here from Freaks and Geeks and you are watching Freaks and Geeks my YouTube channel and let's get started so as we have already got the idea from what we are going to see today so let me just uh, tell you that what you need to ensure so just ensure that your device is rooted and you have a custom recovery a TWIP recovery installed on your device so after doing ensuring that and after uh, do check the download box that is a description box below for all the download links the download links for the ROM package the open G apps package and the CM14 firmware will be there so download all the three files and move them to your internal storage or your SD card so after you're done with that switch off your device and and press the volume up button and the power button together so this will boot your phone into the recovery that you have installed so I have TWRP over here so it's booting into TWRP recovery so as you can see I am into TWRP recovery so after you are booting into TWRP recovery just hit backup and backup all the things if you are on currently on MIUI so after you are done with this so hit wipe and go to advanced wipe Dalvik system data and cache just swipe to wipe so after you're done with this as well just go back hit install select wherever you have stored the ROM package and let me just show you as you have seen the resurrection remix 5.8.0 select it go to add more zips select OpenGF 7.1 pico go to add more zips and cm14 firmware so just swipe to confirm flash and this ROM will be pre-rooted guys so no worries about that moreover you do not need to uh, install super SU or anything and I will suggest you that you do not install super SU because it somewhat does something and just swipe to confirm flash so after you're done with this hit the reboot and hit system so let me just mount this on my tripod which I have recently bought and let me just show you uh, the house table the footage is and so now meet, I'll meet you on the other side of the video when this has completed booting so see you on the other side so as you can see it's booting see you on the other side As you can see, I have not installed Super SU, but I am using the privacy guard on my phone, the default privacy guard because I like that better. So basically, you should allow everything. Uh, this is the basic lock screen. Don't get fooled, guys, because uh, the first thing that I got out of the box was, metal, uh, I mean, out of after installing the ROM was Trebuchet. So I just flashed the Pixel Launcher. So after that, I got this and a more uh, Android 7.0 like look. So this is pretty much uh, the status bar. But what today we are going to look at extensively are the configurations that Resurrection Remix offers us. So let's just hit settings and let's just go to configuration. Sorry for the noise guys because once again shooting in my veranda because you know the drill right guys. So as you can see, okay, a lot of notifications. Why is the hotspot on? Okay, let me just switch off the hotspot and let me just clear all the notifications. So as you can see, first things first. So as you can see, if, let me just bring this closer. Device is HD capable, which means that we do have support for Geo VoLTE. So because we flashed the CM14 firmware. So let's just go back. And as you can see, if we go into configurations, we have different options like clock customizations. So as you can see, with the help of clock customizations, you can customize the clocks. How on earth is the coming? I just switched off. Okay. Okay that's pretty much it and so as you can see let's just go back and you can enable or disable brand logo that is the resurrection remix logo as you can see over here and let's just go back custom logos you can select from a variety of range of custom logo for example i like this guys so let me just the where is it uh this cake stuff as you can see so basically pretty much gimmicky stuff i would say battery you can customize the elements of the battery that how the icon looks like and stuff let's just go back Notification taker, weather temperature, network traffic and stuff, a lot of stuff is there. Let's just go to panels. So as you can see, notification panel customization. You can customize the color in each and every aspect of the notification panel. And volume panel, power dialog, forced, expand notifications and stuff, a lot of stuff is there. Recents, let's just look at what we have in recents. Generally why? As you can see, yeah, immersive recents, show memory bar. I have showed the memory bar because it helps a lot, just like MIUI style, as you can see. Yeah, it shows you how much RAM you have left. Let's just go back and show date and climb clock. Okay, oops. 
So I'll just go to recents and once again. So we have the clear all button. We can select it. We have the recent style. Hidden apps, Omni switch. I do not use the Omni switch, but uh, let's look at uh, basically. No, I'm not going to use the Omni switch. I will not suggest you that you use the Omni switch as well because it's uh, it's not very stable, guys. So let's just go to quick settings and we have quick animations. We can uh, customize the animation style. And uh, let's just go to quick pull down. And as you can see, the quick pull down. This is basically the quick pull down. What's all it's all about? go back and we have tile layout advanced and let's go to lock screen we have gestures for lock screen we have lock ui you can customize each and every aspect of the lock screen from here so we even have color customizations and bottom shortcuts upper shortcuts this thing the, this doesn't work uh, it go, uh, takes you to help and feedback and asks you that you should uh, give an entry to enable this feature so yeah you can submit your form something stuff and we can have security weather options we can also show weather and so we have gestures gestures anywhere app circle bar you are pretty familiar with this guys i guess so as you can see app circle bar that the circle that comes moreover let's just go back pie control three finger gesture moreover let's go to buttons okay the thing that i like the most about this rom is that you can use the virtual buttons as i'm using here as you can see the virtual buttons as well as the physical buttons also work so let me just show you so let's just go back to buttons okay buttons where is buttons so here is buttons so there is basically an option to disable hardware keys as well but uh, i did not do that because i like the hardware keys as well as the software keys because you have that option we have answer call single tap and we have uh, we have google assistant uh, and that's also a trick by how you can install google assistant uh, let me just show you as you can see we do have google assistant okay update need, uh, needed to work offline so we need to allow and uh, network settings and stuff update now pending and okay a lot of things are there just bear with me for the noises guys just just please do it bear with me and we have overview button single tap and we do have split screen let me just show you so as you can see i'm long pressing the button uh, let me just go to the recent app okay why is it not working okay sorry let me just go to the recent app so as you can see so as you can see split screen pretty much works so now this is how you can open and stuff and this is how you can expand so the, you must be aware of this by now and animations yeah all the basic stuff with animations and this is where the main things comes in the interface and font size display size expanded desktop ambient display so ambient display is basically something that uh, if your uh, notifications come and your screen will be lighten up and the black background will be there everything will be monochrome and you will be able to see your notifications so that's pretty decent and dashboard we have heads up notifications screenshot type the thing that i like the most uh the thing with the screenshot is that you can let me just show you so let me just adjust the brightness guys so as you can see if i want to take a screenshot and i can select the area for which i want to take a screenshot suppose this much i want to take the screenshot and it will take the screenshot of that particular area only so that's a pretty neat feature let's just go to miscellaneous and sc linux options i don't know much about this but uh, clock and widget options and updates and stuff everything is there and about resurrection remix as you can see so let's just go back and let me just show you the android version as you can see android version 7.1 so it's the latest from google and let's just go back and let me just show you the 3d touch but before that let me adjust the brightness a bit okay that's pretty decent and this is the 3d touch as you can see my I mean three and it shows you the contacts and these are the messages and so 3d touch is pretty much uh, present for all the google apps that i have noticed so as you can see 3d touch and uh, the neat feature is for camera it reminds me of iphone 6s as you can see so yeah that's pretty much it guys that was about how to uh, install and a quick overview of the android 7.1 rom on the redmi note 3 hope you like this video if this video was helpful to you do give this video a thumbs up constructive criticism is always welcome guys and do suggest me of what new rom i should check out on the redmi note 3 links will be in the description box below for the downloads so no worries about that and if you are new to this channel i will like uh, i will appreciate if you can hit the subscribe button because i will try to bring more videos on the uu euphoria yeah, as well as the this guy this chap the redmi note 3 here so yeah do stay subscribe do keep maintaining the support guys and yeah uh see you in my next video and be a freak be a geek until next time